With EU Parliament elections complete, the horse trading to secure EU top jobs has begun in earnest. Up for grabs, the presidencies of the EU Commission, Council, Parliament and European Central Bank. And the winning candidates will be chosen by EU leaders at their June summit. Validated by an uptick in voter participation, the European Parliament wants to seize the opportunity. Ahead of an informal dinner of EU heads of state and government on Tuesday, parliamentary leaders spoke out on the race to fill the upcoming vacancy at the EU Commission. Our priority will be that based on this new balance of power uh, in the European Parliament, there will be a tough, modern, active um, uh, agreement uh, between the, the future majority in the House. This evening we will need to see from the Council a movement towards them respecting um, not just the outcome of the elections, that should be obvious, uh, but also the role of the Parliament that they cannot go around us. For us Greens, we are supporting uh, the lead candidate procedure because this is an important progress in European democracy. In 2014, the EU Parliament came up with a more democratic lead candidate process, whereby whichever group in the Parliament forms a winning coalition or has majority, its candidate is then put forward to the EU Council. EU leaders Tuesday were also busy ahead of the dinner, securing alliances and allegiances for their preferred candidates. Germany's Angela Merkel, who belongs to the EPP group, urged leaders to stick to the parliamentary procedure and choose her preferred party candidate. But French President Emmanuel Macron offered something different. We have to choose the people who will hold up our EU project, and those persons need a double majority in the EU Parliament and in the EU Council. After dinner came this. Today's discussion confirmed the agreement reached by the leaders in February last year that the European Council will exercise its role when electing the Commission President meaning, in accordance with the treaties, that there can be no automaticity. And Donald Tusk said that the process and not names were discussed on Tuesday yeah. evening, but could possibly the EU's lead Brexit negotiator, Michel Barnier, be the dark horse in the race to become the EU Commission president? Well, despite not being a formal candidate and despite coming from a different party to France's president, it appears he's Macron's preferred candidate. Who better, perhaps, to steer the EU post-Brexit than their own negotiator? Who'd for thought, perhaps? My own Zadie CGTN, Brussels.